being in Los Angeles is uh, you're just moments away from the best of the best. And of course, every city has its best, but the best tuna fish salad can be found at a um, at a little market. Here it is right there, pan over there, that's called M&M Market. Uh, this was my mom's favorite place. It's a butcher shop called Hardy Meats. And inside of Hardy Meats, you can find the best turkey meatloaf in the world and the best tuna salad. And that's what we're gonna get. This is my favorite place in the whole wide world. That's Romeo right there. Romeo makes everything. Okay, anything you want. Okay, so, um, how about some turkey meatloaf? Okay. Yeah, sliced up, please. And um, can we get uh, a medium tuna fish salad too? Yeah. Yeah, my mom found this place because uh, she used to live nearby. She was alive. She used to bring me uh, the tuna and the turkey meatloaf wherever I was. She'd come to rehearsal and bring it, and then I just fell in love with it. And now, this is, this is the place, I, I don't live in the valley, but when I'm anywhere near the valley, this is where I stop. Let's go to Paul Brown's house. We're at the gate of Mr. Paul Brown. This is his house, this is where he has a studio. Um, I've got the Hardee's barbecue. And there he is right there. Hi, look what I got. All right. Gotta love it. Say hello. Hello, how you doing? This is a show that we do called Dave. Dave? Yeah, do. Dave. Dave. Well, you got your own Smith. The Dave Show. So, what are we gonna do? I don't know. He's the king of his castle. Look at this. This is what 200 number one hits will be for you. So I know because I've worked with you now, uh, and we did that record together, that a big part of the magic that comes out of the studio uh, is not due to, to Paul. That's right. And um, a lot of it is due to his gorgeous <laughs> wife, Jackie. What's usually part of the whole experience of working in, with Paul Brown? Wine? Yes! <laughs> it's the wine cellar. That's true. Well, it is. It's about that time. It's about that time. Okay. This is a 1969 Volnay from Burgundy. I think. You I think don't want to. That's, that's probably. That's from 1969. This you don't want to open it up now, do you? 1969? I only open up stuff like this when a really good friend comes over, so... What better time to do it? Let's do it. Are you sure? Yeah. 69? Why not? It was a good year. It was a very good year. I was, um... Were you born six. yet? Were you born? I was six years old in 69. Born? So this is a 1969. This is one of the reasons why you come to the Browns. This is not like a 2011 vintage or a 2008 right, Tuesday. Vintage. Or something that was made Tuesday. This is from 1969. 45 years ago this wine was made. And that's the beautiful thing about wine that I love is inside of that bottle is a whole story. Exactly. The people that were around in 1969 that bottled that and put all of their heart and soul into it. And here we're now, 45 years later, we're going to partake in Hopefully it. Hopefully you enjoy it. And it's very important to uh, have the proper stemware. I hate drinking good wine out of bad stemware. And this is the ultimate. Are those Regal? Those are the, yeah, they're the Sommelier Regal. Oh, yeah. that smells so good. Smell it. There's huh? so much going on in there. Unfortunately, you can't cheers with these glasses because they break. Okay. We can just, but just salute. cheers. Salute. To you, my that is good wine. Oh my God. That, that Paul is the guy that, that brought me around on French wine because I grew up in California, Napa and Sonoma, yes, did I. Is, and, and Santa Ynez. We, we love California wine. And California makes great wine. Yeah. But I really didn't know anything about French wines until I started working with Paul and these dinners that we would have. Daddy, you're ruined. <laughs> and when you try French wine, especially vintage French wine, it's like, this is where it all began. It's hard to put it into words. It's true. I wish you could taste this. They say je ne sais quoi. It's a je ne sais quoi. It just tastes darn good. It tastes good. You know what would be nice? Some cheese. <laughs> and crackers. <laughs> To celebrate. Or a knish or something. Something. What do you got? I did bring some food. You did? Yeah, we've got the turkey meatloaf and the, and the tuna. Cool. 
course. It doesn't really go well with French wine, does it? Mm. You know. But you know what would go great with this? A little more of this. And maybe a little music. Okay, what do you think? Why not? To music. To music. This is one of my favorite things. A little appetizer. Here's hearty meats. Tuna on a chip. Can't go wrong, right? A uh, little dabble of barbecue sauce. Does it up right? Forks. Then I can get five of them. Okay. Christian 